Tonight, newly obtained video shines new light into a controversial Brentwood church that has faced repeated accusations of being a cult. That video shows church founder Gwen Shamblin testifying under oath about her beliefs, about her own controversial wedding, even about allegations that the Remnant Fellowship finances the divorce against, divorces rather against non-remnant spouses. Our chief investigative reporter Phil Williams has been tracking the church's controversies for two decades. A recent HBO Max docuseries puts a new spotlight on Gwen Shamblin and the Remnant Fellowship. In this video, you'll see and hear Shamblin in her own words just two years before she, her husband, and five Remnant leaders would die in a tragic plane crash. How members of Remnant behave is a bit like Handmaid's Tale and Stepford Wives. The HBO Max project introduced much of the country to Christian diet guru Gwen Shamblin and her church, the Remnant Fellowship. Uh, the pilot. Just months after one of her flying adventures. God is our pilot. He is the number one pilot. He knows everything. So we are praying for safety. Smooth going. It's a beautiful view out here. Ended in tragedy, her jet plunging into Nashville's Percy Priest Lake. Do you swear or affirm to Now these video depositions from a 2019 child custody case involving a child fathered by Champlin's husband, Joe Laura, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. I did. Okay. Provide fresh perspective into life inside the Britwood Church. I think we're probably the most highly investigated church in the in the United States. A church that for years had faced questions about what some saw as cult-like tendencies. Are you aware that a lot of folks have, at least online, expressed that they think Remnant Fellowship is a cult? Check to the form. I'm not aware of a lot. It's kind of like, so a lot of people No, and you'd have to define a lot. It was a church so worried about its image that Shamblin testified Remnant Fellowship had a web team dedicated to trying to manipulate its Google search results. Is the purpose of this, this Google placement to push negative websites down in the searches for Remnant Fellowship? Or, or to push the truth of, of what, what it is about us to the top. To come home to true religion that is simple but powerful. Gwen Shamblin was an exalted figure inside the church she founded back in the late 90s, coming off the success of her Way Down Diet plan. Are you a prophet? I don't believe I know what my gift name is. So I, I will tell you, I'm still wrestling with that. I've been told that for years. But 15 years later. What is your position with Remnant Fellowship? I am one of the leaders and do you have any kind of official title with the church? I'm Gwen. After years of portraying herself in a prophetic role in the deposition, Shamblin resisted any such labels. Do you consider yourself to be a pastor though? Honestly, my background, Church of Christ, being a female, I have tried to resist any title but Gwen. This video posted on Shamblin's social media shows the night in 2018 that she became engaged to one-time actor Joe Laura right after divorcing David Shamblin, her husband of 40 years. This was the same woman who told us in 2001 that she was forming her own church partly because mainstream churches have become too lenient on divorce. Look, America is in trouble here. We've got just as much divorce inside the uh, church is out. The church has morphed into the world. But Shamblin's new views on divorce and remarriage posted to the church's website around the same time she decided to divorce her own husband insisted that God himself divorced Israel, his bride, for turning away from the faith. So there should be no judgment towards saints, meaning remnant members, as they strive to help build a pure church. <laughs> Her wedding, less than two months after her divorce was finalized, became a high church event. Did you pay for the wedding? 
No. The wedding video also posted online boasted that Remnant followers had traveled from around the globe to be there for Gwen's wedding. Shamblin explained that Members Producing Beautiful Weddings for Members was one of her church's ministries. As for whether it was all free. So you didn't have to cut any personal checks to pay for this wedding? Talk about my dress. I mean, I, I'd have to, I don't call. I mean, there are some things, obviously, that I've purchased. In fact, long before the HBO docuseries, Remnant Fellowship had faced accusations of breaking up families when one person joins but other family members refuse. In a 2004 divorce case out of Connecticut, Hominy v. Hominy, the court quoted the Remnant wife's statements that we must take God's work seriously and we must take everything his prophet Gwen and the other leaders are saying seriously. The wife also said leaders in Remnant have to be willing to stand up and get rid of even relevant relatives who are idol worshipers. Do you think that Remnant Fellowship has been responsible um, for the breakup of any families associated with the church? Check to the form. In the Hominy case, the court said Remnant Fellowship provided $10,000 to help with the wife's legal fees. When Remnant members go through divorces, do you ever fund litigation for those folks? Um, me personally, no. Shemblin went on to explain that Remnant Fellowship has a committee that addresses requests for financial help from members, including help with legal fees. Yet when the attorney tried to get into the details, well, I'm an instructor not to answer any. Shamblin's lawyer, Remnant leader Russ Morgan, objected, citing what he called Tennessee's pastor's privilege. So I don't think you're entitled to know what. It's not like spiritual guidance, though, is it? Could be, yeah. I'm instructing her not to answer. You can take it up with the judge. As our investigation continues, you'll hear what Gwen Champlin had to say about our 2004 investigation of the Remnant Fellowship's teachings regarding child discipline and its connection to the murder of a little Remnant child.